Because there's so much content and information on social media, dealers need to know where their priorities are. There are so many different sources of media and information, and when you hit on the fact that there are 12 of them in terms of the dealership staff, it is really so many different dealer businesses. Each business is its own, and it has its own priorities. So I feel for the dealer principal in this, because the dealer principal really can't be the gatekeeper or the funnel through which all that media comes. So I think the real secret and the benefit of social media media is now, it's not bypassing the dealer, but it's yet permeating to get to that end user so that the parts manager is getting the information that they need to know that might not, might be top of mind for them today, but not for the dealer. So it's getting the right information to the right people. They're all managing very complex business units within that dealership operation. So the more that we can get to that end user, that end person who needs that information and filter it to what they need, and again, the social media tool enable us to do filtering so much better than we have in the past, then I think it'll be much more successful because there's more out there than they can consume presently and it makes it harder for them to find what they actually need in the process. If you think about it, that's really not unlike what social media is all about. It's me as an individual reading an article that I think is great and then I'm either tweeting it out or posting it on my community wall saying, hey, Look at this. So that's people begin to listen to the things that are forwarded to them by people they trust. Well, that's a role that media can play. You can digest or sift through the things that are less pertinent or less um, accurate in many cases and really give them the meat of what they're looking for at the right point in time. I think that'd be a key role for media to play.